I remember last year you talked about this being a more complimentary football team, and I, I can see you got the defense, the offense, special teams all come together to create something special. What has been the focus this year? Where has been the point of emphasis that you want to focus on in 2009? Well, I mean, we want to build on that. That's a great word for it. I never thought about that before, complimentary emphasis. You I, know, I that's heard why it from you. I, I, heard I, it from I, you. I forget what I say sometimes. <laughs> but, you know, that that's that's we want to build on that team mentality, you know, the idea that each side makes each other side better. But I guess the main thing right now with our guys is just a relentless obsession with improvement. What are you looking for in terms of growth this season out of your quarterback? I want him to be better. You know, I mean, you guys, we guys watch is all the little things that a quarterback does better. You know, he's uh, he's getting the ball out quicker again under against pressure, which is huge for a young quarterback. I think he's throwing the ball with more uh, confidence, and yep. uh, um, he's just more solid over the middle with some of his throws. Uh, and we've got to get him some help. So it all ties together. I mean, protection helps him. The running game helps him. The receivers help him. And then he does things more quickly more than anything. Oh, you could see it from practice today, Coach, how sharp he was. Mm -hmm. He's out there throwing BBs. And, boy, he's very accurate, whether he's down the field with it, whether he's out on the perimeter, even with the check downs. Uh, just talk to me about the offensive line because they're a very young group, mm -hmm. getting younger even with Michael Orr sure. joining. But they're very talented. I, I, I saw them grow even last year. Just talk to me about what you want to see from that group moving forward. Well, we want to see a dominant offensive line. I mean, that's the, that's the point, and we want it to happen now. You know, we're not waiting for this group to grow up, so to speak. You know, and that's like John Matsko. Everybody talked about last year how we weren't going to have any chance up front. And I think we had a pretty good offensive line you last did. year. You did. Uh, and, of course, Willie Anderson was a big part of that. So we don't have Willie in the mix, but as you said, we've got Michael Orr. So, you know, he's got to grow up fast. But we want to be, you know, we want to knock people off the ball. We want to be physical and pass protection. We want to run down the field and knock people around. Do you believe you have enough at the receiver position, at the tight end position, to help out Joe and his maturation? Yes. I mean, Adam, I mean, of course, you know. Now you want me to expand on that, right? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> we know what Derek is. We know what he brings to the table. You have very talented tight ends, but injuries have been a factor with Todd and LJ. Mm -hmm. You have some intriguing guys, I think, in terms of youth and talent at the receiver position. The Clayton injury, I thought, was a pretty big deal for you guys. So after Derek, do you think you have enough? Where do you think that you'll get some guys to step up and help out Jim? Right. You can sit there and say, Derek Mason, you know what he's going to be. Mark Clayton, yeah, he misses some training camp, but he's worked his tail off. We know what Mark Clayton's going to be. LJ and Todd, you know, obviously we know what they can be, but they've had the injuries, just right. like you said. Right. Harper's got a chance to be good. Marcus Smith has got a chance to be good. We, we think we expand Kelly Washington's role from what he's been over his career. You know, and then some young guy may jump up. So, Iman figures you never know about. The guy can really run. So, you know, who's going to be the guys that really, you know, expand into those roles this year? So, potentially, there's talent there. Talk to us about the running backs. I love the way you were able to find a role for all three guys. They combined for over 2,000 yards rushing last year. you still considering using them as a committee. Might we see one guy break out? Just talk to us about the plan there. Well, I think one guy will break out from time to time. You know, that's, that's the way it'll go. But we expect all three of them to break out throughout the course of the season. So, you know, we don't get hung up on starter. Who's not a starter? There'll be a starter one game. In the next game, you know, someone else will be starting based on the package that we put out there the first time. But you're going to see all three of those guys hopefully be very productive.